Hey everyone, I'm Tefel and welcome in second part of UMG tutorial. Mm, this time I will add some saving and loading features and uh, applying graphic settings. So it will be exactly the same like it's uh, in editor mode, quality settings, when you have re resolution scale and view distance, etc. Yeah. So for now it looks like that. This is point when I, uh, where I finished last time. So you have default values as medium. Okay, so we go to game hat. I need to add some uh, elements. So I copy horizontal books and add more, let's say, three, seven uh, of them, yeah. And instead of radio button line, I need to add a slider, yeah, on the right side. Uh, yeah. And uh, to make this bigger, I just need box uh, size, size box and need to put my slider inside and uh, override width with 200. I also need text on the right side, so I can put this right here, yeah, and set to 40. Okay, but I also need to change these values, so the first one is resolution scale, next one is view distance, Okay, uh, then it's anti aliasing. Okay, uh, post processing, shadows, mm, textures, and finally effects. This is everything what I need from this viewport. So I can create my blueprint and save game. And inside I need to make some variables which will be holding some states, uh, so maybe some graphics for all graphics settings, compile and I need six of them. And second one is resolution. This is a simple uh, integer. Yeah. So this is like that. So for now I can load this uh, and save. So I go to graph, go to game hat, and this is default value. It will be useful later on, so I just check if does game save exist. Just settings. And if it's true, I can uh, take my settings. If it's false, I just use my default one, yeah. So if it's true, I just uh, load settings, uh, game, state, from slot, using the same name, and I can cast to settings, yeah, and promote to variable, changing name to mm, settings, okay. So I can take my uh, graphics and resolution, and I can use them. So instead of default values, I can just copy this right here and uh, use my graphics. Yeah, get on, depend on index and applying to my default value. This default value can be low yeah, for each one. But I need to apply on uh, also resolution. So I take my slider, set value, which basically is uh, this value divided by 100 or just multiplied by. Uh, point oh one. Mm -hmm. And one more thing, I need to change also text block, yeah, which default is 100. I need to make this variable, yeah, compile, and I can use my text block and set text uh, to when it's completed, yeah, and get my resolution mm, to string. And I can append strings. Uh, this is first one, and second one is percentage. Yeah? This is simple like that, and it should work. Yeah. But I also need to save uh, these uh, values. Yeah. So right now I need to make this smaller and add button on the right side. 
which will be apply settings button yeah so I need add text inside and apply when it's uh, on clicked I just uh, create save game object which is set the settings and I can set my settings yeah but I need to cast this first to the settings yeah and uh, in this I just need to set my values graphics and the resolution then then just uh, save game to slot yeah save game to slot using the same uh, sorry settings yeah and this is simple like that and it should work but uh, how we can uh, set these graphics and resolution yeah we need to take this like before so for every uh, radio button line we get uh, index here yeah, which is selected so instead of set selected button we just get uh, go to radio button line and graph instead of set selected button I just make get selected button it just return index so I just uh, remove this get index and it will return index yeah yeah it's right here so I need to get uh, is selected when it's selected I just return my index Yeah, there will be warning probably because I don't have completed state it's uh, not returning anything but uh, you shouldn't be uh, afraid of that if you have one state uh, selected here yeah, each time so it should work here yeah. so I return my index and when I get my in uh, selected button I get my index so I can set uh, each graphic I want to so it will be temp array and I can set my array element yeah which will be item and index will be this one yeah and I need size to fit because I didn't set my default value for this temporary uh, and yeah this is everything what I need o also I need to read the resolution so from slider get get value mm, multiply by 100 and round to integer yeah so I have graphics set uh, resolution yeah and this is everything what I needed so when it's completed I just save uh, these values and my slot yeah and it should work let's check this out uh, when it's medium apply pause yeah and it's saving uh, apply stop and okay when I ah when it's changing it's not changing so we need to fix this okay so when slider is uh, value change we just need to set mm, this text block set uh, text and we need, we need to update this yeah depends on the value but I did this uh, right here uh, yeah I can multiply by 100 and it will be the same yeah multiply by 100 but this is float okay and we need round because I'm using round everywhere yeah and this is simple like that okay so I fix this so when I hit play it should yeah changing and everything is saving this data yeah. stop play 99 low 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 apply yeah 
So last thing I would like to do is just applying these settings. Mm, and this is really simple. So every time uh, I save uh, my or changing my uh, graphic settings, I need to apply them here. Yeah? And every time I load settings, I need to apply my graphic settings. So we just need event, custom event, uh, apply graphic settings. Yeah. And there is a command I can uh, execute for each uh, setting. Yeah. Uh, there is equivalent uh, command for each one and I have this right here which is uh, view distance quality, anti-aliasing, post-processing quality, shadows quality, texture quality, effects quality and for resolution scale is screen parser touch so I just need to make function uh, sorry not function uh, variable which is string Uh, okay, array, and it will be commands, graphic commands, and I compile, I can just paste this right here, and I have my settings, so for each uh, I can get, Mm, but I need to get my settings first of all, yeah, and get my graphics and resolution. Yeah. So for each graphic, I need to execute this uh, command. Of course, I need append like before. So this is uh, yeah, depend on index and uh, adding this value yeah, from graphics. And this is simple like that. And when it's compiled, I need to do the same. So execute console command, append string. I have prepared. So R screen percentage and my uh, resolution. Yeah. So now I apply every graphic settings I want to. And it should work. Let's check this out. But I need to apply graphics uh, when I load. Settings from file. And when I change my settings. So when I apply. So it's right here. Apply. Yeah. Compile, save and play. <coughs> and it's low. Now it's high. Yeah, it looks like high. Same resolution scale. Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, okay. Now it's zero. Okay. I don't see much. <laughs> okay, but it works. <laughs> and so everything works like it should. Okay. So this is simple like that, you made settings with applying graphics and everything here. Yeah. So thank you for watching and see you next time.